In this video, you're gonna learn more about how you can help most as a parent at home for your child with dyslexia. So often, parents ask me, what can I do at home to help my child? Parents play such a pivotal role in the development of their children, so your involvement should never be overshadowed. But personally, I don't feel that your help needs to be focused on the academic approach to help remediate your child's dyslexia, as most parents would assume. You can leave that to trained professionals. I feel that the strongest role you can share in the life of your dyslexic child is that of a positive viewpoint toward their dyslexia. This can include both emotional support and advocacy related support. The emotional battle that a child with dyslexia must endure can be vast and should never be forgotten in the big picture. In our field, we have this term called the dyslexia iceberg. There are many obvious things that we can see as a result of the dyslexia, such as trouble with word reading, spelling, fluency, and accuracy but often the underlying impacts can be so much more crippling, such as low self-image, negative self-talk, low confidence, anxiety, and depression. As a parent, the biggest work you can do is not only openly discussing these feelings, but also creating an environment of hope through discussing the strengths associated with the dyslexic brain and countless parallels of how these strengths and weaknesses have translated into success for so many people. A dyslexia and or dysgraphia diagnosis does not need to be seen as a negative thing. And who better to frame this concept than their parent? One very basic example is keeping a book on the coffee ta table outlining the successes of many individuals with dyslexia, such as the bigger picture book of amazing dyslexics and the jobs that they do. This book is about average individuals' journeys with their dyslexia and how dyslexia-related struggles and strengths help shape them into successful people that they are today. Keep it on the table and openly look at it together and discuss these things. Of course, there are countless uber successful famous people such as Steve Jobs and Richard Branson that they can possibly relate to more. If you have smaller children, maybe display several children's books about characters with dyslexia, such as Fish in a Tree, How Dyslexic Benny Became a Star, or My Name is Brain, Comma Brian. Framing dyslexia as a positive attribute versus a negative outlook can make a huge impact on how your child chooses to internalize their academic struggle. In this journey, there is also a large chance that you're gonna need to play the role of your child's advocate in a school setting. This is another way that you can make a large difference for them. Educate yourself and you and your child's rights as a student served under special education or even Section 504. Always use that knowledge to be proactive in the fight to get what your child is entitled to under law, regardless of what the school pushes back with. Teach yourself how the law can work for you, and at a minimum, secure the testing and accommodations that your child should have access to. Please visit us at dyslexiaondemand.com to schedule a personal meeting with me and to learn more about how you can change the life of your child. And please like and follow for more educational videos such as this one.